As I stumble around the world of video games trying to find a good vet simulator game to play, I keep coming across duds. Dud after dud after dud. The latest is My Universe Pet Clinic, Cats and Dogs Panda Edition. Yeah, you work that one out. And although this is better than most of the ones that I've played, it suffers from the same problems that every other vet game that I've had does as well. It just does it slightly better and gives me hope that we might get there in the future. But this screams we wear badged as PS4. In My Universe Pet Clinic, you play as a veterinary person that's opened up a clinic, but it's only for cats and dogs, and maybe a panda if you go into my freestyle mode. Each day starts with you opening up the veterinary clinic, and like a couple of cats or dogs will arrive, and each one will have its own problem that needs to be diagnosed. You start off by having to stroke each of the pets to calm them down, then you go into a diagnosis to find out what the problem is. And this starts off the kind of fuzzy nature of the controls of this game, which cause half of my frustrations with playing it. The problem with My Universe Pet Clinic is that it's trying to render mini games often in 3D, but it hasn't quite mapped out clever enough controls to be able to do it. So you'll have lots of like fuzzy question mark areas where you need to go and move your hand almost like you're doing it as a cursor with a mouse, but you're doing it with the controller so that it hovers over the right area and then you press and hold a button and then it will kind of go burp, 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 and then it will go, oh, no, no injury here. Next place. And you'll rotate the dog around and do the same thing. The same other area is where it's got like a tap memory mini game where it will come up with three or four different colors and you'll need to hit them in order. It doesn't matter if you are precise with your movements, where your cursor lines up doesn't match to where the 3D object is. And so you're constantly having to work out, OK, where actually am I or where does the game think I am versus what does the visual cursor do? And this is a problem across all of the games, because whether you're creating medicine and you need to drop various different pills or herbs into the pestle and mortar, it doesn't line up because you're looking at it from a like weird 3D angle and the game can't cope with it. So you're dropping in things purposefully out of kilter, but that's how the game thinks it should be done. Then when you're in the mini games where you're trying to like wash the dog, you aren't actually aiming at the dog at all. You're aiming at the wall and then the water will go, kind of fall in the right place. And although you're supposed to wash all of the dog and it tells you to rotate the dog and do whatever you need to do, you can just quickly go around in a tiny little circle and it will still win for you. This kind of fuzzy control and nature of the game just feeling like a, a WiiWare shovelware title just in the next generation of consoles just plagues the entire experience which is a shame because whilst the dogs do look a little bit dead in the eyes same with the cats there is some cuteness here and there's a variety of different animals that become your regular customers that come back over time and they develop different issues so some of them might just have a stomach problem some of them might have some ticks or might have uh, injured their paw and you have to bandage it up bandaging in this game is absolutely atrocious and doesn't work but um, so be prepared to fail that one quite often um, later on as you upgrade your clinic you'll start to open new rooms and that enables you to start doing surgery for example or x-rays and so it drip feeds in little mini games slowly over time that try and change up and spread what is a very thin game thinner but if there was more variety and the controls actually worked and like you had double the content again, I think actually this would be a pretty solid experience to play. Instead, it's been launched at a full priced game with cut priced content and we wear level of controls that just doesn't gel well together. And so it doesn't matter if you've got an overarching story and it's saying like you need to serve 15 new customers so that you can level up your clinic and then upgrade your staff room. It all kind of pours into one giant slog because you're doing the same problems, the same controls, the same issues with them over and over and over and over again. And then you just 
you get bored of it very quickly, which is a shame because the overall aesthetic and vibe is something that I'm looking for, but just not with this execution. I do think this is worthy of a sequel where they could potentially dive in and finesse some of this and double down over time, but it really needs some proper 3D mapping of controls and more variety in mini games and problems and issues that your dogs and cats occur. Maybe put in some other animals and they have different ailments. That would open up your veterinary clinic to actually become a vet rather than just a cats and dog specialist. But yeah, if you if you are very nostalgic for We Wear Shovelware titles, I think you'll enjoy this. The rest of us have been here and survived that era and have moved on. And I think I would recommend a lot of other people to do the same. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higher plane network. Your support makes all the difference and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.